Okay, guys, let's have a look at 10 then. We've got cot x is 2.3. As we know, cot is 1 over tan. So let's put that in because we need to simplify this equation, don't we? There we are, 1 over tan. So basically, I'm going to move the tan up to the top on the right-hand side. And then I'm going to move the 2.3 down to the bottom on the left, 1 over 2.3. And I'm going to write it down from right to left. Okay, and I end up with that. Fairly straightforward. So tan x. Now I'm going to keep a measure of accuracy here. I'm not going to round it too much. 1 over 2.3. 1 divided by 2.3. I'll cancel. 1 divided by 2.3. What do we get? 10 over 20 thirds, wasn't it? Let's do that. 10 over 20 thirds. So tan x equals 10 over 20 thirds. Okay. So now we can solve that then. So it's 10 over 20 thirds. Keep it nice and accurate by writing it in that form. Draw a circle, write C-A-S-T. Tan is positive here and here, so draw our two lines. Mark off alpha to the horizontal and write tan alpha then equals 10 over 23. So alpha inverse tan, both sides gives us this, doesn't it? Yeah, so now we can work out alpha, shift tan, uh, 10 over 23. Okay, 23, now we can round, 23.4.50, agreed? 23.50. Okay, put it in the diagram then. 23.50 degrees here and 23.50 degrees there. Uh, so, x equals, just go around to 23, isn't it? 23.50 degrees. Or x equals, and then the second one, around 190, around 180, and around a little bit more. 180 plus 23.50 which is 203.50 degrees. So there we are then. There's our two answers. Let's just check them in the calculator. So we've got tan of 23.50 at tan 23.5 Yeah, 0.43 10 over 23 I better check that. Is it 10 over 10 over 23 minus 10 divided by 23. We should get really small. Yeah, we do. Very, very small. So that one's okay. And the other one, 203.50. So it's tan. So this is a good enough check. 203. Right? Minus uh, 10 over 23, isn't it? And we should end up with a really, really small number, which we do. Okay, good. So they're fine. That's good. Uh, happy with that. So that's the answer there. So the solution are these here. These two values. Great. Let's go on to the next one then.